What's up for today guys? This is Serum Magic and today we're gonna to be doing a review of the Logitech G102 Prodigy Gaming Mouse. It's been a while since the G102 Prodigy Gaming Mouse has been released. And today, we're gonna to be talking about three things. Build and features, performance, and lighting. If you want to check out the unboxing of this video, I'll be putting an end screen video or you can just look at the link on the description down below. Let's talk about the build. It has a classic design which was inspired by the popular G100S gaming mouse. It uses a hard plastic with no rubber sides. It's very light. It only weighs less than 90 grams which is perfect for FPS players. Buttons are well built. It doesn't feel or look like it's going to break soon. The scroll wheel is plastic but it lacks the fast scrolling feature unlike the G502 Protea Spectrum or the MX Masters. It has two tactile buttons on the left side of the mouse which is default at back and forward button on web pages. It features an optical sensor which ranges from 200 to 6000 dpi where around 800 to 3000 dpi is already enough. At first when I tried it coming from a bigger mouse to a smaller mouse, my pinky finger was not comfortable because it was left hanging. So I thought that this would be a bad mouse but after a few games or I had myself adapt on the size, it felt much more comfortable actually than it used to be. And lastly, the shape of the mouse is ambidextrous but considering the bottoms of the left side, I can only say that this is not fully ambidextrous. This mouse is perfect for palm grip users with small hands but it can fit in most grip styles like the claw style or something like that. Uh, my hands are kinda in the small to medium size. Uh, I used my Razer Death Adder Chroma way back and then I changed to this mouse because I thought of going to a mouse which is on a budget and doesn't have side grips. Because in the Death Adder Chroma, they have rubber side grips that kinda losing its uh, adhesive which made it very sticky and uncomfortable. And this mouse was recently announced so I bought it. Next up is about the performance. G102 Prodigy or the Prodigy mouse lineup including the G203 and the G Pro has its so-called the new Swiss Mercury sensor. I'm only using 1600 dpi in all of my games and it works so good that when I compared it with the Death Adder Chroma, my gaming performance increased significantly. I can say that the feeling of the sensor itself for its price, it feels much more accurate than other mice which is twice or thrice more expensive than this mouse. I've been using this mouse for already 5 months from this day and unlike any other mouse I've tried, I haven't encountered any issue like losing its left click, right click, unresponsive scrolling, dead lights, or sensor flickering. Besides, even if this mouse is not working anymore, you can still buy a lot of this and you still won't get your wallet ripped. You can at least get 2 or 3 of this for a price of another mouse. Let's talk about the lights. As of the Prodigy lineup, I can say that their LEDs are so vibrant and cool looking. They have so much color in it compared to other mice. But there's a big downside. I thought the reason why they're getting this kind of color is because of the plastic screen that lets the light pass through or I should say filters. But when I look at the G Pro mechanical keyboard, I look at the LEDs. And when I change to color white or yellow, they will have added cool temperature on it. So whites will be going to look like sky blues and yellows will be color yellow green because yellow plus blue is green. Violets will be indigo, magenta is somehow will be uh, purple in a way. Yeah, I think that this is one of the major problems of the colors of the Prodigy lineup. For some people, this will be a big problem but for some people like me, it's not much of a big deal. As long as the color it gives is cool and vibrant, I can say that I'll just go for setups that would not prioritize specific colors like the ones that I've said. Overall, it's still awesome. Overall, we've come up into a conclusion. The Logitech G102 Prodigy is a mouse of its price. It's worth $20 to $25 and here in the Philippines it's worth 1000 to 1350 pesos. Unlike any other mice, this is the beast. This is the beast of the budget mice. It is sometimes even better than more expensive mice than this. It does have a US counterpart, the G203 which is more expensive but the same specs. I can rate the G102 Prodigy as my 10 over 10 basis of mouse in terms of price and performance. So I think 
that's all for today guys please do like the video if you like it please subscribe to my channel comment some things non-technical things you need to know and if you guys want to uh buy this stuff in the philippines or maybe in the us i'll be putting some links in the description down below and also the g203 prodigy will also be placed so i think that's all for today thanks for watching